question. What is your favorite fragrance? Uh, you. What's going on? It's Webster Style, the man, the voice, the fragrance, and I'm, I'm excited to be here with the lovely Hazel Grace. Hazel, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. It's great to meet you. Now, you are, at least you seem like a humongous nerd. Your latest cosplay on Instagram is of the Omega Level Goddess Storm. What was your inspiration for that costume? My inspiration is always powerful black women. Anytime we have a powerful black woman in cinema or in art of any form, you know, she, we want to emulate that because we don't get a lot of that, you know. There's, there's, I think, seven Disney princesses and only two are black. So, you know, Storm is like one of those ones where, like, I mean, it's, it's a part of all of our childhoods. One of the first black characters we actually got to see female-wise. And uh, so, yeah, that was, that was the inspiration. I'm like, if I'm going to really get into this cosplay thing, i got to do Storm, you know. Right. Understood. Now, any any reason why you picked a classic look of Storm, the sort of OG Chris Claremont, Dave um, Dave Cockrum, Jim Lee Storm? There's nothing better than classic. Yeah, that's yeah. Nothing better than classic. Okay. Now, tell us about Melanin or In Melanin Productions. In Melanin Productions is my new production company. Um, we have uh, we're launching next summer, so it'll be somewhere between June and August. So keep your eye out for that. In the meantime, go to inmelanin.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Basically, we are, I'm not going to say the name, but you know the company with the bunny, the bunny ears. We're them, but with chocolate. So we have a beautiful logo to match theirs. And so we shoot women of color um, across the entire spectrum of brown. We've got Asian. We've got Filipino. We've got Filipino black. We've got Asian black. We got black and, you know, all the options. Um, and so our number one thing at Melanin, the number one thing for you to know when you're coming to jerk your dick is all the women are always going to be brown. Okay. I like chocolate. I don't know about you guys. One last question. What is your favorite fragrance? Uh, you. This is your boy Webster Style. Thank you guys very much. Hazel Grace. <laughs> You're a fashion designer. Tell me about your business. So I do custom exotic wear, anything. What's going on, everybody? It's Web Style, the man, the voice, the fragrance, and we're here with, well, if you were here, you'd be mesmerized like we are. We're here with Onyx. Onyx, how are you? Hi, how y'all doing? Doing good. Well, good after your performance. Yeah, I'm <laughs> shaking ass and taking ass. Yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, I see that you're a fashion designer. Tell me about your business. So I do custom exotic wear, anything from a two-piece or one-piece, like you can have extravagant things. So my company is called Mom, Sissy, and I, so it's mild, spicy, or ignorant. I think I'm a little ignorant today, you know. So yes, I have shoes, I have clothes, I go to a size 3XL, and I go to a size 13 in shoes. So I got something for everybody, everybody. That sounds good. Sounds good. All inclusive. One last question before you get back to well, mesmerizing the crowd. What's your favorite fragrance? My favorite fragrance. I have two. I can't pick between one. So it's Bagarvi, and then I like Pink Crystal okay. by Versace. Okay. Definitely, definitely Versace. You know, tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, OnlyFans. My name is the same. It's Donica Onyx with two X's. Okay, two of them. Real naughty. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You are a rock star, pretty much. You're in a heavy metal band. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been screaming in heavy metal bands since I was about 15 years old. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style, the man, the voice, the fragrance, here with Goddess Lilith. Goddess, how are you? I'm amazing. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, one of the things we were talking earlier and introduced by Kuya P, you are a rock star, pretty much. You're in a heavy metal band. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been screaming in heavy metal bands since I was about 15 years old and just, like, doing that in my parents' garage kind of thing. So it's been a, it's been a long journey. That was always kind of like... My dream as a as a younger kid was to like be a rock star. Now, what bands influenced you in your your career in that regard? Oh, so there's so many. When I was a little little kid, I had I had an older sister, so she introduced me to a lot of good like 80s hair metal and stuff like that. Um, Motley Crue, 
I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think. Motley Crue, White Snake, Poison, um, eventually like Metallica and stuff like that. So kind of like, I that was my first taste of of metal back then, and I just continued to discover some more modern bands like uh, Pantera. I mean, Slayer, of course, is classic and. Sort of, uh, you know, when I was growing up, it was a little harder to find music, so I was sort of limited to the the mainstream kind of stuff that I could hear on the radio or whatever. So uh, the internet wasn't such a plentiful resource as it is now. So um, so my influences were like pretty mainstream, but when I started to approach my 20s and get more into like black metal bands and stuff like that, that further in influenced my sound. So. Now, uh, the band that I'm in is sort of like a melodic death metal mix. Okay. Well, you had me at, um, well, Metallica and Martin Crew, especially Martin Crew. I always love Martin Crew. Yeah. Now, with your, you know, being a heavy metal, how does that sort of inspire you or doesn't inspire you all when it comes to being a dominatrix? That's, that's an interesting question. I would say sometimes... Anything with sort of like a hard driving beat can kind of get you more in that zone and kind of, you know, hone in that focus and that mood. But I've, I've found different music of almost all kinds can really do that for me, like even things like industrial or some hard techno. Um, so I'm not sure if, if rock or metal has specifically influenced me, but I would say that maybe fashion wise, uh, I, I always took notice of of rockers kind of like Joan Jett and Alice Cooper with their leather and spikes and everything. So I was definitely inspired by some of the fashion choices. And it just so happens that a lot of those, uh, a lot of similar fashion sort of presents itself in fetish wear too. Thank you, Neil. Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, so I am all over the internet. You can find me at goddesslilith.com. I'm also on all of your favorite like video clip sites. I'm on Pornhub. You can find me by just searching for Goddess Lilith. I'm on OnlyFans and Loyal Fans, same name, Goddess Lilith. And uh, if you want to find my socials, it's at Goddess Lilith 66 on Instagram and Twitter. Right now, anyway, I do get deleted and shadow banned kind of often. So, um, but that's where you can find me right uh, at the moment. And I've also written a book about uh, how to be a foot model. So that, if anybody's interested in becoming a foot model and selling feet pictures, you can go to becomeafootmodel.com. And lastly, if you want to find anything about my band, you can just look for Sorrow Seed on Spotify or any other major platform, or you can just go to sorrowseed.com and find all of our links there. Thank you very much. That's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Check her out. Webster Style, we out. You're rewatching One Piece. You actually plan on going to your job, right? <laughs> I know. That's a whole endeavor on its own. Right. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm, I'm only on, like, episode 25 because I forgot where I left off, so I had to start over again. Episode 25. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style. Back here again with Nurse J. Becky. Now, a lot has changed for you since the last time we spoke last year. You're getting a bit more settled. You aren't going to be traveling anymore. So... When you get settled, what's the first thing you're going to do? First thing I'm going to do, well, I'm attending an orientation for my new job. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to, like, snuggle in my bed and watch some anime. I haven't, like, been able to just binge in a very long time. So I'm just going to relax and, like, kick back and be with my stuffies and just watch some anime for a while. Okay. I figured that was going to be part of your answer. So <laughs> what anime are you going to be watching? Well, I'm re-watching One Piece because I have to start over. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to catch up on Rent a Girlfriend because there's like a new season out. Um, Rising of the Shield Hero has a new season. I'm trying to stay on top of it, but I've been like really busy. And Spy Family too. You're rewatching One Piece. You actually plan on going to your job, right? <laughs> I know. That's a whole endeavor on its own. Right. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm, I'm only on like episode 25 because I forgot where I left off. So I had to start over again. Episode 25. I know. It's like a thousand, it's like over a thousand episodes. So, but 
I did see the live action and it was really good. Like it was really accurate. Although there's like a few spoilers in there, but it was still really good. Okay. All right. All right. So any changes in the fragrance or are you still rocking Lacombe? Let me tell you, that Lacombe is definitely undefeated. Like I've been wearing it all year. It's the only scent that I wear. People love it. So I just stick with it. All right. Well, you know where to find it. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram at Nurse J. Becky. Also on the Galaxy app at Nurse J. Becky as well. Thank you very much. Web style, we out. <laughs> well, hello, hello, baby. This is your lovely Misty Stone, and you are watching Webster Style with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style, and we're here, well, we're here with a legend. We're here with the one and only Misty Stone. Misty, how are you doing today? Oh, I am fucking wonderful, baby. Just wonderful. Fantastic. It's at, we're at Exotica. We are in New Jersey. And we're here with the fucking fans. Of course I'm having a good time. Don't I look like it? Yes, you do. I love that. One of the things I've, I've really loved just interacting with Vladdell Stars is the appreciation for the fans that so many of you have. Um, someone who has had career longevity like you definitely knows how to appreciate the fans. But what has the adult industry done for your life? Wow. Shit. Keep it real. Porn saved my fucking life. Yeah, in my opinion, <laughs> shit, my story, my whole testimony, like, if it wasn't for porn, I'd probably be in Inglewood in the ghetto with fucking uh, four kids and four baby daddies living with my mama. Like, just something really ridiculous. It just, it, it opened my world to so much more. I got to travel the world. I got to see new people, meet people like me that were walking in the same aspect of life um, and not letting society make us feel as if it was wrong. You know, now you get to walk with other people who have the same, you know, values and morals as you. And it's nothing wrong with that. And it fucking, it just made me a better human being altogether. So fuck yeah. Porn saved my life, made me, a, it made me healthier. I am very educated with my body, my sex. Um, you know, I'm very sex educated. I'm educated with taking care of my body. You know, I know how to. I ain't no doctor now, but I know the symptoms and I know how to go to the doctor, you know, whereas other people are just not as educated. They don't go to the doctor as much, you know? So I don't know. It's just a wonderful thing. So hell yeah. Love porn. And if it wasn't for porn, I'd probably be a little ghetto girl at my mama house with four kids and four baby daddies. <laughs> so thank you, porn. Well, thank you, point as well. I got one last question for you. What is your favorite fragrance? Oh my goodness. Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, baby. Now what I do do is I put there uh, I, I put the Victoria's Secret uh, bare vanilla as a body spray as a base because the vanilla is actually um, the base for the Coco Chanel so the vanilla goes very well underneath it and it just yeah when you smell that on me oh yeah okay we gotta hold up because you're talking about you know what you're talking about you're talking about layering now right so what oh, what layer. right what other fragrances do you like that's it. Oh, that's it? That, that's your go-to. That's the, your signature. That is the bare vanilla as the base, and then the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. But I ain't going to tell you which one. Figure it out yourself, baby. <laughs> there you have it. Misty Stone, the living legend. Webster Style, we're out. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style here, the man, the voice, the fragrance. Here with author, podcaster, all-around Jack of Age, Casey Donatello. Casey, how you doing today? Hi. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style here, the man, the voice, the fragrance. Here with author, podcaster, all around Jack of Trades, Casey Donatello. Casey, how are you doing today? Hi. Thank you for having me. So, what it? You're an author. So, tell us about your book. So, my company is a is an alternative lifestyle company. So, I wrote three books about my journey in the lifestyle from first learning about it and then becoming a unicorn and then getting married in the lifestyle. So now we are a hot wife couple. We have a podcast called In Bed With Strangers and my husband and I talk about what it's like to be in the lifestyle and we try to give a realistic view of it to give people, you know, yes, there's physical pleasure, but there's also this element of emotional and mental, you know, struggles that you may have to work through. So we like to tell people that it's okay 
if it's not a perfect journey, there's going to be ups and downs. And you get the female perspective, the male, and then the couple perspective. We also do seminars about different topics in the lifestyle. And at this expo, we just launched our merchandise line, which is a swinger-friendly line of merchandise. And then we also have an OnlyFans page, which is based on our experiences as a hot wife couple. Now, what is a unicorn? A single female in the lifestyle. Oh, okay. All right. That's I've I've talked to people in life in the lifestyle, as they say, but I've never heard that term before. Yeah. So let me. I usually ask my uh, people who I interview, "What's your favorite fragrance?" I'm gonna ask you since you have a husband, what fragrances do you like your husband to wear? We don't wear anything. Either. Oh. We like our shampoo and our deodorant. Okay. All right. Well, Casey, tell everybody where they can find you. If you go to CaseyDonatello.com, you can find links to everything that I just mentioned. It's all on there. So one place to look, nice and easy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You guys, Webster Style, Zodica in Jersey 2023. We out. Peace. So my two favorite smells, this is going to sound so dumb, is honestly, gasoline and mothma. That's not dumb. All right. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style, the man, the voice, the fragrance. Here with Leah Michelle. Leah, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. You are covered in tattoos. Could you tell me a little bit of the story about your tattoos? I was bored. <laughs> Which, I don't know. I started getting tattoos, Um. well, when I was like 18, you know, I was like, did the thing, but I really started getting involved because I, um, I kind of didn't wanted to make my body look like art because I was a little self conscious. So I was trying to make myself feel more beautiful. So I started to decorate with tattoos, and then I found these beautiful women on the the West Coast um, years ago that looked like me that were like covered in tattoos, and I was like, that's what I want to look like. So that's that's kind of how I started. Okay, simple story, but a beautiful one nonetheless. Now. You've only been in the industry for a little bit of time. How has it treated you so far? It's been nice. Um, I've been really happy and blessed to meet some really great people. Um, it's really helped me develop some better self-confidence with myself. Um, and I get to help other people now uh, feel more confident about themselves. So I really like it. It's fun. That's, I, I love to hear that. Now, you've been in for a short time. Like, What are your aspirations being in the industry? Or... What do you hope to use the industry to do further down the line? Ooh, um, I should have prepped for these questions. Um, I, I don't really have any aspirations. I am having so much fun just kind of like developing whatever this is that is going to turn into. Um, I've owned a couple of businesses before. I've been in the military. I'm... I've done a lot of things, so I think that with this, it's, it's more important for me to have fun and kind of explore the options instead of like having like a goal because I'm having so much fun. Um, I hope that I can help young women feel comfortable in whatever body that they are in because it just took me a while to like myself the way I am. Um, and I hope that I can at least show women that no matter what you look like, no matter who you are or if your hair is short or long if you got a big butt if you don't got a butt like somebody out there is going to love you for you and if you find those people then it'll make your life just so much easier that's beautiful i have one last question yeah. what is your favorite fragrance oh my god i don't have one um this is gonna oh my god i have a weird like i like weird smells um so my two favorite smells this is gonna sound so dumb is honestly gasoline and moth. <laughs> That's not dumb. Unique, but not dumb. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I'm around a lot of like I, I do hair, so I'm around a lot of fragrances. I would say like my favorite product smell is probably Moroccan oil. I wear that a lot. Um, but if I like, I just I don't know. I've I've worked in a couple places where like it's just a lot of smells, and I think that became overwhelming. So I don't really like overwhelming smells but those two are just the unique smells that i'm like oh man that feels like home or that feels familiar to me so i like i like that <laughs> well leah michelle thank you very much tell everybody where they can find you um only fans at leah michelle vip twitter instagram hello it's leah though um h-e-l-l-o-i-t-s 
T H O, um, and that's also TikTok. So, thank you very much, Webster style. We out. I like to lie. I just like to be myself, honestly. <laughs>、Well, everybody is Webster style, the man, the voice, the fragrance, and we're here with none other than Kiki Cloud. Kiki, how are you today? I'm fantastic. Well, that's awesome to hear. Now it's funny. Like I first saw you on the podcast circuit a couple years ago, before I even knew what you did for a living, and I always thought that you were very authentic. How much of yourself is really in the content that you produce? Ah,、uh, 100% of everything is me.、Um, I'm very honest, open. And I don't like to lie. I just like to be myself, honestly. <laughs> so that's all you really can be now. You've been in for a couple years now. What are some of the biggest lessons you've learned being in the industry? Some of the biggest lessons in the industry I've learned are to value and appreciate things.、Um, I feel that the opportunities I've been given or been handed to me are because, I, yeah, I have worked my ass off, but. Not everybody gets those opportunities. Everybody has a different path in this industry, and I feel as if the things I've worked hard for come to me. So I'm very grateful for it. I love that. I love that answer. No, one last question. My style is all about style and fragrance. What are, if not one, some of your favorite fragrances? Baccarat Rouge 540, Ariana Grande. All of her fragrances are phenomenal. Well, this is Kiki Cloud. Let's tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram, Kiki the Snack. My Twitter is at Cloud Kiki, or you could just Google me because I'm all over the internet. Thank you very much, Kiki. Webster style. We out. All right, Webster style here, the man, the voice of fragrance, and we're here with the Foxy one himself, Foxy. Now, one of the things I've been dying to ask you because I wanted to meet you last year in DC, it didn't happen. But you've had such a long career. How has the industry changed since you started? Well, the industry、um, for the trans part of the industry, or、That's、just in general? And, and for the trans part. Of it. Okay. I am.、Um, I think just with technology alone, you have to always keep up with technology, right? So, no matter what the new fad is, you have to keep up with it because technology is always, you know, ev- evolving. So you have to like. Go with the flow, and in order to keep up, you have to evolve too. So now we have all these、um, content creators who aren't technically porn stars, but now they're able to、um, shoot their own content. And now we incorporated them as part of the industry, just like we did with the webcam girls, the webcam、uh, models, and you know the porn stars. So we integrated into one big. Industry, adult industry, which I like, because now we all feel like we're all part of one big community. So that's awesome.、Um, being like the tube sites as well. For instance, Pornhub being one of the biggest tube sites. Before they were against us and would you know pirate all of our stuff, and they made tons of money. But now they are working with us and gave us a platform. And now we've become a community where we are able to showcase our talents, and all these content creators and porn stars are able to put their stuff on there and actually make money off our stuff from views, just like kind of like how YouTube is. You know, you get so many likes and subscribers, you make money. So they've done that with us, which is awesome because now we don't have an enemy out there. Now we're all again together as. One big happy family, and as for the trans part of the industry, it it's come a long way. I remember people would be so people would get blacklisted if they would shoot with us. I mean, they're still kind of still to this day, but not so much. But there's there was a lot of、um, companies I would say like talent agencies that wouldn't allow. Their talent to shoot with us because they said it would ruin their image. So we were kind of getting bashed from all directions. The gay community, whether they were bisexual, known to be bisexual, 
not even they could shoot with us if they were with an agency in the gay part of the industry because, again, you shoot with the trans, your career is done. And that's how it was for a long time. And it was kind of sad. And, but over time, everything just, you know, people started crossing over and they started realizing like, wow, this is what I wanted. Whoa, this, it, draw a lot, it draws a lot of traffic. And us being like one of, you know, we were considered a, a niche back then. And it was taboo. And now we've become one big industry. So, you know, we've become more mainstream. And, you know, now it's like crossing over is not a big deal anymore. It's more common. And now you see some of the biggest names in porn shooting with trans. And it's just like, it's, it's amazing to see that. And yeah, it's, it's, it's at a good point right now. It's definitely something that I've seen in the industry as well. And I think that, you know, a lot of those barriers have been broken, at least from, you know, outside looking in. And we ask you one last question before, you know, people are waiting to see you. What is your favorite fragrance? Ooh, well, you know what? I'm all about scents. Like, I love cologne, candles, perfumes. Anything that smells good, I'm like, hmm, what is that? Because I love scents. My favorite fragrance? Ooh, that's hard. Um, gosh, I'll pick one. Um, I would say Lost Cherry from Tom Ford is probably, like, one of my favorites. But there's so many. <laughs> Tom Ford's a good. I'm a fan of Black Orchid myself. So, yeah, Tom, yes. Tom Ford is really good. All right, Foxy, tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter at Foxy702. And my OnlyFans is also Foxy702. And because of Instagram, you know, they've been canceling out a lot of the adult industries you know, um, accounts. So I've, I'm already like on my fourth account. Um, and that one is I am the number two, Foxy, the number four, and the letter U. And my website is clubfoxy.com. So just remember, Foxy is with two X's. So yeah, I had to, I had to distinguish myself on the internet. So I had to add another X. Or you can put T.S. Foxy. That's another way, but I don't like putting T.S. Because why do I have to tell everyone I'm a T.S., right. Right? right? Well, Foxy, thank you very much. Webster Style, we out. These are books that follows one character throughout a whole adult life. This is how my whole journey of writing started. I'm an urban romance erotica writer. Um, and the Jamie Reynolds Chronicles was just a fun series to write. Once I was... What's going on, everybody? Webster out here, the man of Voice of Fragrance, here with author Cassandra Charles. Ms. Charles, how are you today? Good, how are you? Doing well, I'm doing well. Tell us about the Jamie Reynolds Chronicles. Okay, so I have to apologize. My voice is a little hoarse. You know, this is day three of this expo, and we've been having a great time. So the Jamie Reynolds Chronicles is a series of books that follows one character throughout a whole adult life. This is how my whole journey of writing started. I'm an urban romance erotica writer, um, and the Jamie Reynolds Chronicles was just a fun series to write. Once I was done with the series, I started doing standalones. And in my standalones, I found that I had a really good niche for erotica writing. So I started writing erotica under the title, um, the Jamie Reynolds, Jamie Reynolds Chronicles Presents. Joyride. So my first book in my erotica series is Joyride, and then I did Thoughts, and then I did my flashcards, and here we are. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Now, with the standalones, where are you getting inspiration from for the standalones? Oh, my goodness. What a question. Um, <laughs> so I got to be good. Um, let me see. So, I mean, my 20s was pretty fun and adventurous. I spent my 20s in Atlanta where Freaknik was a thing, where people were just having fun, and I just seen, witnessed, not acted, I witnessed so much things, and in that I was just like, this is crazy, this is a world, this is like a, like a story. So when I did my series, I was very conservative, yes, there was some sex scenes and all that fun stuff, but when I started thinking of the erotica side of it, I channeled back to my early 20s when I seen too much. 
And those things that I seen just made a really good storyline. And of course, over time, I elaborate a little bit more. Google's my friend. I Google all of my research, my data. In my last book, Thoughts, you know, one of my characters is a sugar, sugar baby. So I went to the Sugar Daddy website. I seen the profile, how it's set up. And those kind of just kind of went from there. And then, you know, life is life in. So this right here inspired a whole nother book just by seeing what I seen. And you just got creative and go from there. Understood now. So what you're saying is you are Mark safe from that free think documentary that's coming out? Yes, okay. Absolutely. Listen, I was in Atlanta. Let me explain something to you. I was in Atlanta. Okay, I'm not going to tell my age. But when Cash Money was taken over the 99s and the 2000s, hey. I was in Atlanta. So I am completely safe from the Freak Things documentary. I actually want to watch the documentary. That might give me a whole new set of, a new book might be in mind after I watch it. But I'm aware that people are not happy with the documentary coming out. But I just want to see it. I think it's going to be fun. I want to see it too. And I got one last question for you. What is your favorite fragrance or fragrances? Oh my gosh. So I am completely uh, allergic to everything from the outside elements, believe it or not. However, however, I'm a really mellow scented person. So I like anything that's pretty mild, mellow. Roses are very mild and to me smell. So I really don't do a lot of fragrances, but actually, no, I lie. My favorite fragrance is, believe it or not, like vanilla, warm vanilla sugar, vanilla accents. You know, something like kind of edible, like smells like a kitchen in a good way, not like fried chicken kitchen. Those things are kind of like some very mild, very aroma, common smells are my favorites. Are you about to give me something with your fragrance? No, I'm joking. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I do like vanillas. I, I agree with vanillas. Um, vanilla's always been one of those scents that I love, and anytime I can get into fragrance, I'm very happy. But tell everybody where can they find more about the Jamie Reynolds Chronicle. All right, well, we will be in the DC Expo and next month on December 1st to the 3rd. But you can go to my website and check me out at my website is www.jamierenoldschronicles.com. I'm also on all social media platforms, either under author Cassandra Charles, and that's Cassandra with one S, or it's going to be the JR Chronicles. But just look me up, author Cassandra Charles, Cassandra with one S. You can look up Joyride or the Jamie Reynolds Chronicles, and you will find my all my my whole life all on the internet. Thank you very much. You guys know where to find more. Webster Style, we out. And the voice to fragrance here at the Minx booth. And we're here with, I'm blanking already, Violet Winter and Stella Sky. Ladies, how you doing today? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style, the man, the voice, the fragrance here at the Minx booth. And we're here with, I'm blanking already, Violet Winter and Stella Sky. Ladies, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good, good. Now, I want to, Stella, I'm going to start with you. You are one of the co creators of Minx. Is it more of a, a database software? What exactly does it do? Okay, so we're not a software. We are, uh, we have a course, an eight hour long course for both new and existing creators so that you're either just getting started with your fan site and you don't know how to get started. We take you through building your profile, building your socials, how to stay safe, uh, how to reinvest, what equipment to use, basically from A to Z on building your fan site and becoming a creator. And we also have web development services. So we will build your web page, your domain, uh, we will build out your Linktree page. If there are things that you need built digitally, we can do that for you, develop it for you. And the most important thing is we're not an agency. We don't take a percentage of your income. We're doing everything for flat rates, like a normal business in the business world. Um, I just, as a creator, there are so many people out there looking to rip you off. They want a percentage of your income to manage your socials, manage your marketing. And to be honest, when I see what they're doing, it's nothing that anybody can do that stuff themselves, automate it even. It's way easier than they make it seem. Uh, so I'm, I'm just here to help other creators support, lift up. There's enough money out there for all of us. That's why we're called Minx. It's the money in triple X. Yes. Now I have a question. While you're focusing on the adult industry now, do you maybe have aspirations of expanding? Because I can see a service like this being beneficial to other content creators as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you don't have to be a spicy creator. Uh, if you have an online presence and you want your website built out where you have 
commerce or access to video content, photo content, we can also build out your website. You don't have to be a spicy creator for that. Thank you. No, speaking of spicy, Violet went to here, sexy goth girl next door. How did you fall into the Minx crew? Yes. So I originally went to Expos Miami, which is a spicy industry creator exhibitor only event. Um, and I ran into Jeff, which is one of the co-founders. He talked to me about the flat rates, all of that. And it's things that I fundamentally believe in and I wish existed more in the industry. So I'm also very passionate about it as well. And then I met Stella. We all hit it off. And now I'm a part of Minx to help them out and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I have been in the industry full time for a about a year now and just from them alone I've learned a lot and I've actually been able to apply it and it helps with building my brand so again very passionate about what's being preached here yeah. nice nice now one quick question before I let you guys go because I know we're about to start up soon first for you what is your favorite fragrance or fragrances um not like a perfume brand but I like gardenia jasmine and orange blossom okay. yeah how about you? Uh, I use Glossier U and Jazz Club by Replica. I blend them together. People Ooh, are crazy. Nice. Yeah. She layers. She layers, ladies and gentlemen. So, Violet, where can everybody find you? Uh, my at is Violet Winter 666 on everything. I'm the goth girl next door. I primarily cam on Chatterbait, but I'm all over. Thank you. How about you, Stella? Uh, just go to Stella Sky. That's S K Y E, StellaSky.com, and you will be able to find me just fine. And where can you find more about Minx? Uh, if you go to MinxDigital.com, M I N X X X Digital.com, you can also find us on all social media Minx Social, M I N X Social, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you very much. Webster Style, and we out.